Hey YouTube, it's the Queen of Swords here. I just wanted to make a quick video to uh, kind of um, put in one format all my answers because uh, one of my videos is getting a hell of a lot of views all of a sudden on shorts and um, no one apparently wants to watch it in any of the other videos and uh, you know get answers to questions. So I'm going to just throw this here just in case anyone kind of stumbles upon it. So anyway, why titanium for a hammer? This is a bar of titanium. This is grade 5, 6AL4V, or 6% uh, aluminum, 4% vanadium. There's some other little trace elements in there, but it's basically, you know, titanium with those other two ingredients make something similar to this. Um, this is a piece of round bar stock that I purchased several years ago, um, kind of during COVID. I had some intentions on making some, um, you know, long-lasting tools using titanium. And um, so this is one of the bars. Um, they were all about this size. I have about four of them. And one of them we made into this. This is a Mjolnir, or just, it's not really Mjolnir, but it's a titanium hammer. Um, I think it's an amazing material for a hammer. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a little small because of the stock size that we started with. But this was a bitch to work. Um, this was a pain in the butt. It really took like three or four, um, like two, three to four hour shifts. So it took nearly 10 hours of manual labor to actually form this um, to the shape that it is, especially the punching side took forever. Um, as you can see in that video that's getting so many views. Let me remove it from the handle real quick. And this whole project is still a work in progress. But as you can see, we had to punch through that with manual tools. We don't have no power hammers. We don't have anything like that. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, people saying that we weren't doing it right, but I'd like to see them do it better. Um, anyway, so we have this, uh, you know, titanium hammer. And why would we make this into a titanium? Why would we decide to make a titanium hammer? This is a lot lighter than a steel hammer would be, right? Yeah, it is. It's like about 60% of the weight of a hammer. That would be the same size head. Um, so yeah, 40% lighter. That means it's not going to be as great for smushing things really, really hard, right? Well, no, it's going to be fine. Um, it's actually not so much about just, you know, hitting it as hard as you can. Like, of course, that has its own benefits. Like, you could get stuff done, um, that way. But, uh, I, you know, prefer to work smarter, not harder. And, um... The benefit of titanium, primarily, when I started making stuff out of titanium was because of its corrosion resistance. You could, like, drop this in the ocean, and a thousand years later, it'll still be, you know, this nice, shiny piece of metal. It's not going to have any rust on it, anything like that. You could still use it. It's fine. It's basically impervious on this planet anyway. Um, so, besides from that... Uh, that's not necessarily a great material for a hammer. You can make a gold, you know, hammer. Um, in fact, it'll be heavier, so it'll probably be a better hammer, right? Well, it's not, because it's not as hard. I'm not the only one that's made titanium hammers so far. This hammer is a beautiful piece of machined titanium by an unknown company. I If anyone knows this maker's mark, I would love to know. Uh, who makes it? Because I want to thank them for this product. Um, I've had this for years, and it's basically a riveter's hammer, like an engineer's um, riveter's hammer. I think it was built for bicycle um, bicyclists or like portable mechanics because of how light it is. It's super short half, though, and as beautiful as it is, um, I've used it basically as a riveting tool, like a you know for pins and for different um, you know everything I need a hammer for. I've been using this basically. Um, mostly for smushing stuff, and um, with all the finish, this is like three years of use, and uh, it's it's clear, it's it's pretty good. There's like no marks or anything, and I've really worked this thing. So it's not like the material is bad; um, it has benefits. There are pros and cons to everything. It is expensive. It's not the most fun to work. You have to work it really hot and then grind it really cold and keep it cool because otherwise it'll burn through your belts. But if you can do that 
if you can handle the pressure of working with titanium, then it's a great material to use. And honestly, why aren't you using it?